Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. So today, I am going to to certainly address some concern of the viewers, okay, in this particular video. So in which they are trying to ask me related on improving the UI and also the proper setup, the best practice in terms of setting up uh, data types in our uh, fields. So let's get started. So first, in my drive, we can create a blank worksheets, and let's name this uh, once again attendance system. Then, in the first column, we could actually name student number. Then in the next column, we could actually have our full name, then time in, time out, we could provide signature, we could ask signature, or yeah, a certain evidence, evidence only. So, for the information of everyone, this applications is created okay for teachers only so meaning this is usable only for a single users the teacher sites only so i will think of a possible way for us to automatically requires student uh, while they are using their phone and at the same time they could um, use the system, the attendance link, and we could be able to check your attendance. So here comes now the app sheets. Let's proceed now in the app sheet. So all we need is to click add-ons. Then in my end, I have already app sheets here. So that is why I needed for me to add or get that add-ons. So it's just an add-ons. Okay. So after clicking, we could, after clicking that particular button, we will just wait for a while until the app sheets is successfully loaded. So as you can see here, we are now in, our, in the data tab and we could now improve and follow the best practice in terms of setting up student data. So as you can see here, Here's the default. So, the moment that we that the app sheets detects that the column name is number, so automatic the data type is number. But that is not the best practice in terms of having a student number. So we could use a number, okay, or we could use decimal if the student number is more on. Sorry, it's more on. It's more on. Uh, numbers okay you can just input however my best practice uh, there are school that could actually use um, combinations of alphanumeric and the student number but most uh, use number or decimal so we could use decimal or number as well so yeah, let's try number. Then, uh, we have here the full name. We could try setting this into name or text. It's up to you. In time in, so we need as well the best practice to include the date and time. And we need to set formula here to consider um, the teacher will not require to input the dates so the moment that you saw here it's already disabled but we have already this data depending on the time that we had or that we have from our uh, device then in the timeout part we could just let this as date time only no need for us to have a formula because this application will use for this column will use for editing 
So for editing in terms of in terms of um one, once rather once the students go out so the teacher will uh, check okay students uh, time out and evidence we could actually use here name so sorry name sorry image okay if we want to have an evidence to capture the students so i think that's it for this part okay for succeeding attendance systems versions we could improve by adding let's say map and other things we could actually involve students for uh, particular attendance and no need for uh, teachers to input every students okay so let's save this view and we can now test our application let's say this is the student number the full name let's say uh, Scion learning and for the time out a uh, time in for the time out let's click this but we have here the op portion uh, options for clear and a certain evidence if you would like to capture all right so after clicking this automatic we have the data here and we need to improve that later so let's try to check if we have the data in our uh, spreadsheet so automatic we have the first data here in row number two okay so and to address your my uh, the concern in terms of improving the layout so we could actually uh, set or we could actually uh, use this portion uh, by clicking the views this one this icon and select the views and in the view side we could try uh, if we have a formula to be shown in uh, let's say this is our dashboard or if you would like to use um, this one to capture if you would like to use this one uh, this is the this is the problem by the way this is the problem in when setting up number it will capture this way it will capture as number okay but if we try decimal so that's the that is not the best practice so with that i recommend to use a uh, text as well so going to continue let's continue in the improving the layout so here we could try gallery so this is the uh, view of the gallery and also we have the detail we have the map we have charts i think better if we use to set chart dashboard right forms um onboarding let's let's use let us use uh, table so i think table or gallery is good or even deck is good so for us to be able to see okay uh, which students we will try to edit later so we could also add another navigation or a primary navigation here and let's try attendance data again but this time let's say let's rename this into reports okay so as you can see we have already the reports here from the moment we connect once again in our attendance system we will change this into report so chart so in that chart we could try uh, yeah implementing other chart here so that we have a 
simple visualizations in our app. So let's say we will we will use to add the column and add colors onto it. Okay. And label must be percentage or key. But the best practice there is the percent. And the display. Okay. Uh, it's just an icon. And yeah, I think that's it. That's the possible way to improve this layout. So another is in our um, certain UI. So as you can see, it looks like the default. So you could try clicking that particular setting and click uh, information first. Okay, so let's say this is attendance system. Attendance system for teacher. For teacher, attendance system for teacher. Okay, so category um, custom app. Function, let's select education or training industry education as well short description so uh, this is uh, the short name that we have in our app or you could actually say uh, at sys something like that tendon systems okay and for the theme you can change that into the dark background and also the primary color, all right, that we'll use in our app. And the app logo, let's say we will be using this icon. Or, yeah, custom icon. You can just try other icon depending on your choice or your preferred one. Then, Changing this style and hide and search button. All right, show logo, show the name in the header. Attendant system. Attendant system. I think we could go back here. Team. Okay, let's try using the particular background. This is just the primary color, right? As you can see, we can improve this options. So background image. This is. Um, you keep trying to us and it is actually visible right there okay as the background image so this is the icon that I select earlier okay so text size you could actually increase you can actually decrease the size and as well as the font size, a uh, font, uh, font style. Okay, and view type. Yeah, then save. So with that, we have already the applications and let's try deploying in our in our device so once we deploy 
we will run and check okay although we have uh, certain warnings here but we could actually we can just um, deploy our app okay continue run and deploy and let's check in our email so as you can see i press twice the deploy button so in which i have already the options to install but this time i can use once again okay my nox player just to try uh, just to see what is the view the main view in my app here i think it's not working for this time let's try let me restart my nox player okay then let's try to find out how does it looks like in a, in my app so as you can see here I have the message this is my email as well similar to my mobile all right then click this and install pendants yeah install and there you go oops not to gallery yeah so just syncing the app number item this one here comes now the at sys all right so there you go i have now the certain view whatever uh, design that i have here is visible now in my device so similar way okay maybe in the next video i am going to improve this because this is only for the teacher side for the next time that I am going to upload, maybe consider involve the students as they are the one who will. But in the practice, the teacher is the one who will check the attendance. But definitely, maybe I have to create another idea like meeting. So in the meeting, we let the users to um, check their or to register. Okay, so not uh, not somehow related in the attendance. So this is ideal ideal for roll call so let's say this student we will we would like to edit now and check okay the time out date of this student all right then certain evidence if you would like to connect in your phone then that's it so we have we have now the data and let's see the report so there are some improve we could actually improve more about this visualizations so most especially we will use that okay if we have a uh, certain sections and so on so forth so right now the idea that i am i am i discuss or i demonstrate is all about giving you an idea that we can include uh, visualization in our app sheets system okay so that's all thank you everyone.